Well, your food choices make a huge different on, difference on your cholesterol count, but what you eat could also affect the function of your arteries, and joining us to talk about that is the author of the 30-Day Heart Tune-Up. He's the author of Dr. Stephen Maisley. Stephen, thank you so much for, for joining us this morning. Delighted to be here. Uh, your, your approach emphasizes more prevention as, as apart from treatment. Our research identified, we published at the American Heart Association meeting here in San Francisco yesterday, mm -hmm. that lifestyle choices are actually much more powerful than cholesterol and whether we grow plaque in our arteries. So people, your viewers, have the chance to make a huge difference in the quality of their lives. Well, I also understand that um, one thing that you're trying to promote is the fact that you, know, you don't need a lot of these medications and pharmaceuticals that a lot of doctors <clears throat> are prescribing to care for this ailment. If you add the key parts of the program, mm -hmm. add fiber, add fitness, key food nutrients, many people can get off their meds and, mm -hmm. and it helps prevent you from needing them in the future. Well, let's get into the nuts and bolts of this. You, you talk about exercise, diet, yeah. So when we look at five well, things that predict, are, are you going to have problems with heart disease? Mm -hmm. How do you enhance your circulation? It's fiber, fruit, vegetable, beans, and nuts, getting fit, eating fish, not being fat, and special food nutrients like magnesium. They're just great for your heart and your arteries. And where would you find magnesium in food? You get it from, um, green, from seeds, grains, mm -hmm. uh, green leafies. So you get it from the same foods that are often rich in fiber. Mm -hmm. And you could also take it as a supplement. Uh, I was reading some of the material here and it, it, it was pretty stunning to me to find out that you think that uh, heart disease or cardiovascular disease is um, preventable 90% of the time? It is. With this, we have a 30-day heart tune-up. With that program, we can prevent 90% mm -hmm. of heart disease. That's been published in multiple journals. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is we spend 90% of our resources on procedures and hospital care. So we're waiting till the very end to get involved when we could be preventing this. And when you prevent heart disease, you tune up your energy your waistline, your brain function, even your romantic life. So many things get better by in, by using lifestyle. So so you really become a, a new improved person. In you you do. You feel. I mean, the people feel tremendous. They mm. sleep better. Their energy's better. When you improve your circulation, you improve all aspects of your life, and you help prevent arterial plaque disease. One of the interesting topics about uh, relating to this and and your book is is knocking down some of the myths. Now, now most people would think yes. that high cholesterol is the leading cause of heart, to, heart disease. You say not so. It, well, it's certainly not now. Maybe mm -hmm. it was in the past. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Really, met pre-diabetes, sugar intake, trans fat intake, low fitness, those are the biggest causes today. That's really mm -hmm. clear. Okay. Cholesterol is a factor, but much more, much less so than we really thought. Is, it, it, are your findings somewhat revolutionary, controversial, or are you finding acceptance it, in the scientific community? I, there's a lot. It's, it's a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. There is some controversy, but most people are accepting it, that high blood sugar is becoming much more of a problem than high cholesterol. So, mm -hmm. yes, it's it's new information. It's kind of I think it's very supporting. But the best part is it allows our viewers to be in charge of their health. Yeah, yeah, to take control of their own health. To take control of their health by adding fiber, adding fitness, mm -hmm. um, adding these key food nutrients. You can really prevent heart disease, and you feel awesome at the same time. You talked about the fact that diet is a big part of this. Uh, how how do people adjust their diets? You mentioned some of the foods that they should be. Looking Looking at, but realistically, how can you start to make those changes? Well, when we've you go given, to the we've created five new food categories, so it mm -hmm. makes it easy. And we've created delicious. I, I'm a physician, nutritionist, and trained chef, so we created recipes that are easy to make. You can find the ingredients at your local grocery store, and they feel fantastic. You feel fantastic when you eat them. So that's the key: make it easy. Give people foods to mm -hmm. add yep. instead of focusing on what they can't have. Tell them what to add. Give them recipes. Make it easy. Simple. Um, and then you j it's just a win-win. One of the other uh, myths that you that you knock down in the book is the fact that the, the dreaded BMI, the body mass index, and 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 the impact that being overweight has on well on weight this. has less impact if you really mm -hmm. if you'll do two things if you get your fiber and you get fit um, your weight's far less important we actually noticed that in the study that if you do those two things right weight doesn't matter as much but also if you add fiber and get fit usually the weight takes care, it takes of, care itself. of itself doesn't it yeah, yeah so focus on those two things mm -hmm. and it'll fix the weight problem for you how how much exercise are we talking about here what do you recommend 
That's the key part. People are focusing on how many minutes. Mm -hmm. But what we found in our research, that's far less important than being fit. So if in the 30-day hard tune-up, we show people how to do a fitness test, how to do some interval training, and if you do that, you're going to get trim, fit, and sexy in a lot less time. <laughs> so you could actually drop a workout from 30, 40 minutes to 15, 20 minutes and maybe get more benefit from it. It's all about being efficient, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's critical. Okay. Well, the title of the book, again, is The 30-Day uh, Heart Tune-Up. Dr. Stephen Maisley joins us this morning. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back.